If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, we're going to do this review in advance because Janola has already been leaked. So if this card comes out at 1 o'clock, we'll just upload it, okay? Um, guys, with Janola, I'm most likely going to tell you guys this card is good. I'm going to be honest with you because you guys know that every time I review like the physical type attackers, I tell you guys all the time. It's always Team of the Year Holland, Janola, the higher versions of CR7. Um, who's the other guy? I can't think of the other guy that I always mention too. I can't remember. But Janola is one of those cards where it's like he's formatted a certain way in his dribbling department but you couldn't care less about, right? And I feel like it's going to be the same thing this year. I think I already tried his base card this year earlier on, but I honestly don't remember. But I mean, the card's six foot one, high medium work rates, five star skills, five star weak foot controlled, right footed. Play styles, he has technical plus, flair, first touch, power shots, and the quick step, right? In game attributes, this is how he's formatted. He's formatted very nicely for the hunter chemistry style to boost the shooting and the pace, because as I mentioned, with his dribbling, he's one of those types of cards where like very, 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 very few cards where you give me a 76 for balance and I probably don't care about it. You know, very few. Passing on the card in a good area. Dribbling I'll be experimenting with. 89 for heading accuracy, 91 for jumping. So he could actually win some opportunities in the air. And then he also has some physical capabilities as well. So uh, yeah, we'll just basically be using him in the main attacking positions up top we will see how he plays hopefully he is a beast Conte. Eusebio, genuine chance. Safe, manual goalkeeping the we'll take it though There we go. Go Janola. Oh, he almost still gets it there, eh? Couldn't get the deflection off there. Card is crazy, man. Uh, like I said, he's like one of the few physical type attackers where you're like, yeah, you know what? Couldn't care less, honestly. Oh, I don't know why I'm like, I have to. I have to know that they're gonna do the manual goalkeeping stuff, man. I hate it, but they do it, man. Yeah, I have to look at the goalkeeper. What a finish. What a finish. I'll take that. I missed. You know why? Because side footed animation, guys. The worst animation known to men. Thank you. You see what happens when you actually swipe at the ball? Don't do side footed. I, like, someone tell these guys at EA to take that animation out, man. Oh, it's 
Good goal. Thank you very much. Just do, just, just swipe. If you swipe, I can score majority of these goals, man. That's all I want. That's all I want. Get to be that defensive line, man. You guys know how it be. Shoot. Oh, we hit the post. <laughs> composure, lads. Doesn't get rewarded. Composure. Ah, uh, it's like, dude, he's, he's the only guy. He's the only, like, uh, like I said, uh, there's a reason why I tell people that this card is amazing. Because there's, uh, like, I tell you guys this all the time, man. The physical type players, there's only a few that are actually, like, cards that you're like, yeah, you know, oh, not that guy. Uh, that, you know, you use them in the meta of the gameplay and they just cook. This Janola is one of those guys. Like, you, like, EA, do, do this more often with the players with the balance is slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy is just like... Like, who moves like this? Dig me. Oh, he's cooking anyways, bro. Doesn't even matter. He's cooking anyways, bro. He's cooking anyways. Oh, I did it way too early there. I just said, you know what? I was just like, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just try it from there. Why not, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beast, man. Oh, I thought he's gonna continue that run. Like it. This guy's so good, man. <clears throat> Dude, he has like attacking AI. He has like, like, you have to understand when you're a big dude and you can move, like, it's a big deal, bro. It's one thing when you're small and you can move, but when you actually have physical to work with, like, it's crazy, bro. He might have moved him a little bit there. Maybe. Did a little bit of the technical dribbling to get on the inside there. Well, you have to question the decision making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Look at that pass off. Of course. Of course he will. Starts from somewhere, man, right? That's what, the second pass that we do with him, like where he can do a lob pass and he just he just bangs it? Like that's crazy. Oh man, and he he did this kill Zinge on that guy too. He's in the fullback positions. David Ginola starts with Mohamed Salah out wide and higher up. Pele plays with Eusebio. Ha! <laughs> Unfortunately, he did that animation there. Nice pass. Oh, I would have been a sick play if I got that off. Oh, nice try. Let's get across. This guy's amazing, man. Ah, oh, he's so good. 
Guys, it's, it's, it's like it's a full meta card. I don't know. Like <laughs> this is an SBC. I don't care if it's three mil, two point eight mil. It's it's gonna be worth it. You know, when there's cards that are S tier, guys, it's gonna last you a long period of time. Like it's it's always worth getting, man. Nice try. Doesn't matter what you do, brother. It's Van Dyke. Doesn't matter what you do. Well, Dungeonola. Open up the space for people. Oh, of course, I'm going to get blocked. It be like they. Honestly, that shot could have came off really nice. Who knows? That's a penalty for sure. Good build-up play there. Ginola. We're going to go bottom right. Very nice. Good stuff. Good goal. As I mentioned, crazy attacking AI and stuff, man. First touch was great there. Like, just everything. <laughs> it's just everything, bro. Like, this card is crazy. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the uh, Ginola card. So, guys, listen. So, as I mentioned to you guys many, many times this year, many, many times, there are a few amount of cards in this game that are physical-oriented attackers that perform amazingly well right very very few and janola is one of those those very very few so here's the thing about this card man right i don't know what it is they did to him tall and normal i don't know if that's the body type that makes him like crazy but how about we add that to more of your physical type attackers ea because 76 balance you couldn't care less about 76 balance on this card and that i'm telling you guys this right now does not happen often that's what i was trying to really 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 emphasize in the beginning of the video that that's not a normal thing okay so i don't know they gotta do more more stuff with the body types for that to be a consistent thing with more of their physical type attackers because this guy on a hunter even though this is a triple threat card even though he came out during that time period it doesn't matter if this card is an sbc and he's 2.7 2.8 3 mil i don't care what his price is janola is a beast if you choose to unlock this card as an SBC, you are getting a really good meta player. And you're getting a meta player that you can pretty much play in many positions, right? You can technically use him um, in any of the attacking areas. It could be striker, it could be left wing, left mid, right wing, left attacking mid, right? It doesn't matter, right? Attacking oriented center mid. He plays really well as an attacking oriented center mid. That's like a, a thing that a lot of the pro players used to do a lot uh, back in the day um when they used to have like their whole like absolute full meta teams they would use them as like the attacking rated center mid and they would have like the three other attackers up top and i mean it doesn't even it doesn't even matter because janola every year is a monster like he's an absolute monster of a card performs really really well uh this is just the type of guy that uh as i mentioned like i, I don't really have to look at the play styles as much you know it, it's crazy because you look at him and he's like oh it doesn't really have that many play styles it doesn't matter guys he's in game in game this guy's a beast Okay, he is a beast, and this does not happen often for players that have dribbling stats like that, but he's a beast. He's pretty much good at doing everything. He really is. Cards that can dribble the way... It's like, a, I don't know if you guys remember, when I used to do reviews for like Jude Bellingham back in the day, I was like, guys, this is like one of the few cards that has like this body type but can dribble. Whenever you find cards like that, they're the cards you have to use in the meta of the gameplay. Cards that can dribble and their body type is big, like GG's, you know? So, yeah, if you guys are wondering about doing the SBC... 
do him. He's going to be amazing. So <laughs> um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.